In this video, I'll show you how to find the gradient of a straight line. In our first example, we'll find the gradient from a formula or an equation. In our second example, we'll find the gradient as it is on a graph or a straight line. And in our last example, we'll find the gradient between two points when the formula is not given and the straight line function or graph is not given. If you find this video helpful, please like it and subscribe to the channel for more videos like these. In our first example, we have y is equal to mx plus c. When we write an equation with y isolated on one side, it is known as the standard form of that equation. And in standard form, the gradient is represented by m. Let's look at an example. Here we have 2x plus y is equal to minus 5. Now this equation is a linear function, but it's not in standard form. And what we want to do is have y alone on the left hand side. So in order for us to get y alone, we need to move the 2x to the right hand side. So when I move the 2x to the right hand side, it turns into a negative 2x. And now the equation is written in standard form and we can read the gradient from the equation. So the gradient in this example is equal to negative 2. And in a previous video, we discussed what a gradient of negative 2 means. It means that the line is decreasing from left to right. So when the gradient is smaller than zero, the line would be decreasing. In our second example, we have a line represented on the Cartesian plane. And on that line, we have two points, A and B. The coordinates of A is 2 and 4. And the coordinates of B is negative 5 and negative 3. Now, in order for us to find the gradient between points A and B, we need to use the gradient formula, which is the difference of y's over the difference of x's. So I'll have the y value of A and subtract the y value of B. And then in a denominator, the x value of a, and I subtract the x value of b. Notice in the formula that I'm using coordinate a first, and then, then thereafter coordinate b. The order does matter in the gradient formula. So now that we have the formula, let us substitute. The y value of coordinate a is 4, and I subtract the y value of coordinate b, which is negative 3. And notice that I'm subtracting negative 3. Now for the x values, the x of a is equal to 2, and I'm subtracting the x of b, which is minus 5. So again, I have 2 minus minus 5 because I am subtracting the x coordinate of b. Now when I simplify I have 4 minus minus 3 and those two negatives will turn into a positive so it will be 4 plus 3 in the numerator then I have 2 minus minus 5 so these two negatives will become positive so I'll have 2 plus 5 in the denominator. Therefore, the gradient is 7 over 7, and that is equal to 1. So the gradient between points A and B is equal to 1. In our third example, we want to find the gradient without the equation and without a diagram. So the question says, Find the gradient of a line passing through point D with coordinates 3 and 1, 
and point E with coordinates 10 and 2. Now in order for us to find the gradient, we can still use the gradient formula. So the gradient between point D and E is the Y of D minus the Y of E over the X of D minus the X of E. So in our coordinates, the Y value of D is 1 and the Y value of E is equal to 2. So in the numerator, I'll have 1 minus 2. And in the denominator, the x value of d is 3, and the x value of e is 10. So we will have 3 minus 10 in a denominator. And now if I simplify, 1 minus 2 is equal to negative 1 over 3 minus 10 which is equal to negative 7. So therefore, the gradient between line D and E is 1 over 7.